summers and record low temperatures just a few weeks ago. John Donison, BBC News. Well, I'm joined now by Brian Ferguson, Deputy Director of Crisis Communication and Public Affairs for the Governor of California. It's great to get you on the program, uh, Mr. Ferguson. And just to say, you know, looking at the images from my colleague John Donison's report right uh, uh, from there, really the scale of what's going on so apparent. Just talk us through the size and scale of the rescue mission right now and which areas have been worst affected. You know, this is fast becoming one of the most dynamic and deadly disasters our state has ever experienced. We have over 17 fatalities across a large geographic area uh, from the Oregon border all the way to the Mexico border. We have 40 million people in our state and virtually all of them are impacted in some form by this disaster. Throughout the day today, we've had crews out airlifting people and rescuing people who are impacted and we are not nearly done yet. There are two or three additional storms on the way, so we remain in a very challenging moment, but our first responders are here trying to keep people safe. Just talk us through how difficult that rescue mission has been. I mean, you have, you know, uh, outlined some of the most difficult areas uh, to try and get to, but what are the challenges that rescue uh, workers are facing? You know, there is so much water in the system, so much water in the soil, the saturation level uh, is immense from the trillions of liters of water that have been come down in recent days. And so, you know, the cumulative effect of these six or seven storms with at least two more behind, uh, the rivers and streams and culverts are overfilled. And many of the fatalities we're seeing are actually from the soil giving way and trees falling on individuals. And so we have that challenge from San Francisco all the way to Los Angeles. And as you've noted, our coastal communities like Montecito are experiencing deadly mudslides. And so, you know, no matter where folks are in their state, we're urging them to be prepared and take action. But we have a, we have a big state. We are a nation state, the fourth largest economy in the world. Uh, however, you know, this is really putting the test to us in terms of helping keep people safe and keeping our businesses open. Yeah, absolutely. And Brian, just in terms of how unprecedented all of this is, you know, maybe you could give us a sense of what the weather usually is like at this time of year. And have you seen this kind of flooding before? Yeah, our state is actually coming out of four years of immense drought where we have not had these types of storms. And so we're almost experiencing a weather whiplash where we are now getting the rain we so desperately need, but it's all falling at the same time. And so, you know, really the impacts of climate change being seen on the ground uh, here in our state, certainly during the winter, we often get storms, but there there's a break and there has been no break between these storms. And that's leading to the challenges and the images that you're seeing now. And in terms of federal assistance, I know that California has appealed for that. What's the response been? So we've been working closely with President Biden and his administration. President Biden has spoken with the governor, promised whatever aid we need. We do have uh, U.S. federal authorities working with us from the Department of Defense, the Coast Guard, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. So it really is all in. There's no politics when it comes to emergencies. We are here together with a goal of keeping people safe. Brian Ferguson there, Deputy Director of Crisis Communication and Public Affairs for the Governor of California. Thank you so much for joining us on the program and I wish you the best of luck for the rescue mission going ahead.